New here at 6 tonight, the general election already less than a month away. Yeah, it's gotten here fast, and there are a few hot-button issues on the ballot this year. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland joins us from the newsroom with more on how one nonpartisan agency says recent laws are really impacting how Tennesseans vote. John Quill. Good evening. That's right. This week, the Government Accountability Office released a study that shows stiffer ID laws have uh, actually affected voter turnout, more specifically, mostly among young and minority voters. Less than a month before the general election, a nonpartisan congressional study shows what many Democrats have stated since stiffer voter ID laws were implemented in 2012. The most respected nonpartisan government watchdog in the country uh, has the strongest proof yet, the strongest evidence yet. That Republicans are keeping citizens from voting. The study says there was a drop in voter turnout from 2008 to 2012, mostly among young minority voters who tend to vote Democrat. The GAO study confirmed what many of us have known uh, from living in Tennessee. But Tennessee Secretary of State Trey Hargett says the nonpartisan study isn't so nonpartisan after all. I would say they haven't confirmed anything. We feel like the, the study was definitely flawed in several ways. He cites topics like medical marijuana and same sex marriage issues on other states' ballots caused a higher number of young voters to cast their vote. In Tennessee, there was no Senate race or hot topic issue to bring out young voters. I feel like the study had the opportunity to be biased. Many Republicans initially backed the voter ID law, saying it prevented voter fraud. But fraud is exactly how some in the Democratic Party describe the law. It will only be changed when enough Tennesseans say, this isn't what my father or my brother or my sister died for. Hargett is currently questioning how the GAO obtained the numbers for the study. Most of us, whether you're Republican or Democrat, would like to think that the GAO is above the fray. And it just feels like it was very sloppy. Now, when voters head to the polls beginning next week for early voting, they must have a state or federally issued photo ID. For information on how to get one, we've posted a link on our website. Just go to newschannel5.com. Live in the newsroom, I'm John Cole Newland, News Channel 5 HD.